get to work. Hey, Roman, you freaking out? No. Yes, you are. <laughs> Somebody just walk me through what we supposed to be doing. Oh, yeah, here we go. Game time. Roman, you praying, aren't you? $50 says he's praying right now. I get, you need some fresh air? Because you're about to get a whole lot of it. Okay, here we go. Woo! Now we're moving. You just didn't tell him that this is not for you. This is not your mission. Hey, Rob! Hey, what's up, man? Talk to me. Come on. I can't do it. The hell you can't! Come on, man. You throw that thing in reverse and get your ass out of here now. Hey, man, listen. I'm sorry to let y'all down, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and stay up here. No, brother. I'm sorry to let you down. What? What do you mean you said that? Good evening, VJ family. It's Satoshi Boomin coming at you with another video. Guys, if you have not already, go down below, hit that red subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and also, if you're feeling charitable, go ahead and donate to my Patreon page. Help me get off of wave slavery. Thank you to everybody who's clicked my affiliate links and who has donated. Let's get right into it, guys. Now, I just had a wonderful weekend. Uh, we... Went on out, had a nice little one-day vacation, and now I'm back. And I've been checking out VChain Twitter, and I have to say I'm very disappointed, guys. I'm not angry, I'm just disappointed. Now, I know my subscribers have been very, very good, and have been huddling strong. Maybe taking a couple of dollars of profit today, but the rest of them, oh my goodness, so easy and so quick. To capitulate, quit, sell. <sighs> you know, we live in truly amazing times where we have a little bit of a small correction and people lose their minds. I mean, guys, you have to understand we are up 100% in the past month. Okay, we're up almost 40% in the last two weeks. In the last three months, guys, we're up almost 125%. This little pullback is nothing, guys. Nothing. This is a little baby pullback. Yes, we're down 8% today. Okay. But I'm not phased. As a matter of fact, this is a perfect opportunity for me to fill my bags just a little bit more. And if I'm being honest, guys, the way that <laughs> some of the people have been talking in my comment section and throughout VChain Twitter, a lot of you aren't going to make it. A lot of you going to sell out long before we hit our $1 goal. And definitely a lot of you going to sell out when, before we hit $18. A lot of you guys say you want to get crypto rich, but you don't have the stomach for it. And that's okay. Alright guys, there's nothing wrong with not having the stomach for crypto. It's not for everybody. Please, go ahead, open up an M1 account, and invest in some index funds, guys. Warren Buffett style. Get your little 5%, 3% a year. And be happy with that. Okay, you could grow your wealth slowly, guys. People come into this thing, this crypto thing, thinking it's a get rich quick, get rich quick scheme, and it's not. Guys, we are taking a tremendous amount of risk investing in these coins. Heck, these coins don't even. Some of these coins, like V Chain, aren't even worth a dollar on the markets, guys. This is a highly speculative asset. This is a highly speculative asset class. If you can't handle a 10% dip 
on the day, please go to the stock market. Please put your money in bonds and get your 2% a year for 25 years. Please do that. You could preserve your wealth that way, inflation aside, but you could preserve your wealth that way. But if you want 100%, 10x, 3x gains, 30x gains, then you're going to have to take on some risk. You're going to have to take on some risk. This is very, very elementary and and new technology that we're investing in here, guys. So you have to take some pull. You have to you have to take the good with the bad, the ups with the downs. And I'm not even saying that this dip is bad because it's not. As we can see here, we are just above the point zero zero eight five Satoshi mark, um, and we are down from point zero zero nine five on the day. Hey, the corrections happen in this market and uh it's just something we're gonna have to deal with okay now remember what i told you last week or yesterday as a matter of fact remember what i told you yesterday guys i don't expect five percent growth every day like i expect a dip down i expect people to take profits but you have some xrp trolls in my comment section that every time VeChain goes down a little bit, they have something to say. But their coin hasn't moved in over two years. So I don't know what it is <laughs> about these trolls coming out. Welcome, by the way. I know you're there ready to hop on this video. Talking about, oh, it's down 9%. What do you have to say about that? Well, here's what I have to say about it. I'm filling up my bags just a little bit more, and I secretly know you are too. Because you come back to this video every day, which leads me to believe that secretly you are FOMOing. FOMOing. Daily. And I don't blame you. Because this is such a great project that I would FOMO daily if I had the money. Don't FOMO, not financial advice, not a financial advisor. But as the bearable bull would say, you should follow it anyway. Anyway, so, that's not the point, guys. The point is, is that yes, we are down 8%. I am not phased. Actually, I am extremely happy. Because three months ago, if you do not remember, a lot of you have short memories. Not my subscribers. But the trolls and the <sighs> glorious joy of Twitter. Three months ago, the sky was falling. Crypto was dead. Stocks were dead. The world was ending, according to these people. And now, not only we higher, did we get higher, we're on the uptrend even higher than pre-19. So I'm still extremely bullish. XRP trolls, welcome. I hope you took your V-Chain profits. And I hope you left a bag. Well, I know you did because you're accumulating V-Chain. Keep it up. Keep the spirits up, guys. Um, things are moving in the correct direction. Could be whales are selling off. Could be retail investors are taking profits. Hey, we went up 100%. People are going to take profits. Corrections are going to happen. But we need to keep our eye on the prize, keep moving forward, and keep grinding. That's the goal, guys. I'm still extremely bullish. Nothing has changed. Sonny Lou didn't exit scam yet. So, yeah. And as we see here, the crypto corner, they made this cool little video for Coinbase. Me and Coinbase, yes, we do have our issues. But... I would be a fool to think that a Coinbase listing would be bad for VeChain. I mean, I'd be an absolute fool. I'd recommend you buy your, your VeChain on Binance.com. I have an affiliate link in the description below. You know, if you want to save 5% and support the channel and buy you some VeChain, go down below and click the link. Simple as that. Now, let's take a look at this, this cute little video. This is nice. We want to see that VeChain Coinbase marriage. And then we see the little rocket. <laughs> I love it, dude. 
I absolutely love it. V chain on Coinbase. Hashtag that, guys. I'm going to give that a like and I'm going to give that a retweet. I want you all to do the same if you have not yet. Follow me on Boom and Satoshi at Twitter.com. You are missing out, guys. I post daily. Also, interact with the community like I interact with the community here. Um, so, yeah, give me a follow. And, uh, <laughs> you know, if this were to occur, which I don't think it will happen, because Coinbase, they're just, I don't know what their strategy is. Um, to be honest, I mean, Binance is just so much better. The only thing that Coinbase is better than Binance is, is is the uh the interface and the ease of access you know having to learn those trading markets can be daunting for a new user you know i'm i know my mom ain't going to be able to use binance at its current state right now uh but uh once they change that they get their coins listed they change the format make it a little bit cleaner um, at least have like a, a easier simplified version because even their simplified version is a little bit meh. Um, I think they could overtake Coinbase to be honest because they just have so much more coins, you know, less fees. Just if you're still staking Tezos or Coinbase, get it off now, please. They, they're just a highway robbery, guys. Highway robbery, but. You know, I'm still not a fool, and I know that Coinbase is extremely popular, and the Coinbase pump is real. Just ask Maker, Omise Go, and others. In China news, China takes the battle for cryptocurrency hegemony to a new stage. Beijing backs private sector-led East Asia digital money in the challenge to U.S. So we know that China is moving towards a digital currency. This is only bullish. This is only bullish for crypto. This is only bullish for digital assets as a whole. As we see more and more digital assets uh, come to life, uh, we are moving towards a digital world, which <laughs> I, I don't really want to rant about automation but guys it's coming if you do not have the skills to pay the bills yet you can get them all right it does not cost a lot to actually it's free to learn now jobs i recommend you get into it you know machine learning uh you know building things like building tractors building if you're a car mechanic it's a great uh career to get into Robotics, definitely robotics, even basic programming uh, is still good. So, broadening your skills for a digital world, guys. It's time to broaden your skills for a digital world. You want to be above the automation curve. If your job could be done by a computer, it will be. So... I'm not going to read this whole thing, um, but we are one more step closer to a Chinese digital wad. And if China gets a digital currency, the Americans are not far behind. Hell, they're already talking about Fedcoin now. Global competition for supremacy in digital currencies had entered a new phase with China's creation of an East Asian cryptocurrency scheme and an American social media Facebook is adjusting its Libra plan in line with the stance of U.S. regulators. At a meeting of the People's Political Conservative Co Consultative Co Conference, a political advisory body at the Great Hall of the People of of the People in Beijing from May 21st, 10 members proposed a plan to create a digital currency consisting of the Chinese yuan, Japanese yen, South Korean yuan, and digital Hong Kong dollar. So, <clears throat> these plans are moving in motion now, guys. Uh, get your bags ready. Get your skills right. We are moving towards a digital economy, and just like the Industrial Revolution, just like the advent of automation and factories, we are going to see a dramatic, dramatic shift in employability and employers. So, this is why people are talking about a UBI, which is a... Um, universal basic income in the future because there are going to be so many people automated out of jobs that you know well we don't want them to starve so uh, a UBI would be 
definitely be uh, a good thing for these people who, you know, are behind the curve. So, yeah, that is the Chinese digital dollar news. And lastly here, guys, uh, so <laughs> I woke up checking uh, VChain Twitter and I come across Coca-Cola. What? Do we have a new partnership with Coco? No. We do not have a good co partnership with Coca-Cola. <laughs> it looks like Martin CVV, he's a member of the VeChain community. Go ahead and give this person a follow here. Um, they're connecting dots that, you know, maybe VeChain might partner with Coca-Cola or Coca-Cola is looking into VeChain. Who knows? Um, it's nice to see Simon Miles, Global Consumer Director at Walmart China, at Coca-Cola, sharing a great article about VeChain Supply Chain Solution, also tagging Bill Wilson, Global Supply Chain Director at Coca-Cola Company. So yes, we see Simon Miles here, Director of uh, uh, Walmart China, Consumer Director, uh, posting a VeChain um, a V-Chain article here, and tagging Bill Wilson, the Coca-Cola company. Um, so, yeah. I mean, who, who knows? Uh, V-Chain partnering with Coca-Cola? I don't need to tell you that that's extremely bullish. <clears throat> I don't need to tell you that at all. But for right now, this is just speculation. We don't know. And if, uh, you know, we come out with confirmation that we are working with Coca-Cola in any capacity, rest assured, I will make a video on that ASAP. All right, guys, thank you so much. 1,425 days, 0 hours and 59 minutes till the next Bitcoin block having. If you're still with me, guys, thank you so much for sticking with me. Uh, the video t is at tonight for uh, reasons that I was, uh, I took a mini day vacation uh, with my family, got some sun, got some relaxing in, got to see some beautiful nature, um, this world is beautiful and uh, you know, we're all trying to get rich so we can experience more of it instead of being stuck behind a desk. So I want to say thank you to each and every one of you that watches my videos, that clicks my affiliate links, and that s donates to my Patreon page because you are helping me get out of wage slavery so that me and my family can enjoy nature more often. And I hope that you yourself is out of wage slavery, and I hope that VJ moons so that we can all be out of wage slavery. And take a look at the markets. It's a sea of red, guys. Looks like a bloodbath. Oh no, doom and gloom. All my bags are going to zero. Blah, 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 blah. Don't listen to the FUD. Nothing has changed, guys. We are still, still doing quite well for ourselves for such a small crypto, guys. We're still holding at the 8.0086 mark. Could we go down lower? Yeah, but I'm not phased. It's just another uh, another incentive to grow my bags even more. And I hope you think of it that way. Long-term thinking, guys. Long-term thinking. No one thought that Bitcoin could go from negative 1 cent to 220K. No one thought that Ethereum could go from negative 1 cent to 1,400, guys. And no one thought that VeChain could go to negative 1 cent. To eighteen dollars. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. Wish upon a star. Not financial advice. Do your own research. Don't FOMO. You know the deal. So Swissborg is pumping sixteen point eight percent. I don't know what Swissborg is, and they are also up uh, eighty four point six percent. So if you're a Swissborg holder. Congratulations, and there is literally nothing else. Everyone else is selling out. Block stack dumping, Celsius dumping, loop ring dumping, auger dumping, nano dumping, theta dumping. So, and maker dumping. Maker was at $750, and now it's back down to 504 <coughs> Excuse me. So, yep, and that's the state of the markets, guys. Um... 
That's just the way the news goes. I really don't have much to say on this right now, so don't let your memes be dreams. And I will talk to you again tomorrow morning.